welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to take you around my farm and kind of show you the ropes on bee farming. Um, show you how to harvest, how to pull your harvest out of your assets so you can either utilize them for culinary purposes or um, to sell. So uh, here we go. And um, before we even get started, I just wanted to let you know my good friend uh, at the Farmer's Market, Simbo, Farmers, what's her name, Simbo? Simbo Rafira, she is going to be placing these aprons on the marketplace. This is uh, my favorite of all. Super cute. Uh, it's called the Badu. Um, unfortunately, she doesn't make them for legacy. It looks great from the front. It fits my hips and my boobs just fine. But back here, yeah. So she has it for like nine bodies, but not legacy. So definitely check uh, that out on Marketplace. Um, she has several aprons. Um, but yeah, I really love it. So I'm going to wear it even though it doesn't. I guess I could like wear another shirt and then outfit out, but I'm not going to do all that right now. Uh, so anyway, back to the video. Welcome to my farm. I mean, Desiree, Jen, Betty, and Art. My alpacas. They do absolutely nothing for me. Okay, so here are the soil plots that we uh, were looking at at BU. Um, I went ahead and uh, resed all of these and I was planting. Um, you see the different stages of growth. Uh, some of them have weeds and I'm going to show you how those get picked. harvest uh, your plants once they're fully matured you just hop on the plot if you have weeds it will automatically do an animation for you to pick the weeds and then um, you can click on the plot I mean on the plant itself and it will harvest I don't have my mouse cursor enabled but I'm actually clicking on the plant itself and um, that will then download it into uh, my cloud and then I can pull it out and I'll show you how to do that so you can sell them. These don't go into your inventory, they go into the bean cloud and then you have to uh, do a few steps to retrieve it. So understand that this is not filling up your inventory. Um, it is quite manageable if you stay on top of it. So let me get this last one. Now BU just recently did an update on the soils and I'm really not complaining because updates means new content and I'm always up for that. And they're very active uh, in the community. They have classes, um, they're in uh, group chat all the time. They're sending out notices. Uh, so I mean, as far as I can see, it's been a pretty decent customer service for the BU. So I hopped off my plot, now I'm going to click it and update it. There's a update soil option here on the menu. Now this auto update failed and that does sometimes happen so I'm going to pick it up and put it in my inventory. That's why I have a few empty plots. I'm going to have to send these to them and they will return the updated plot to me within uh, 24 to 48 hours, which I'm not really tripping about. Um, but yeah, so here is your moisture level on your plants, and this is obviously very low at 17.1%. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
water this plot here. So you can see, you just click on the plot, you click water, it reses a can. <clears throat> now this is an experience. So an experience, I mean, I, I'm sure that I'm not going to be explaining it right, but to my understanding, it allows uh, certain objects to be attached to your avatar without you always having to, you know, give it permission. So it's kind of like giving it permanent pers uh, permission, permanent position. So, um, permanent permission. <laughs> oh my god. So, anyway, um, when you uh, water this for the very first first time or interact with it it's going to always ask you is it okay to attach the water can is it okay to attach the, the little tools to um, you know to dig up your soil and it gets a little bit annoying so what you do is if you own your own land go to land and go to experiences and add the experience now it will prompt you when uh, when that happens so don't fret uh, it'll tell you exactly what experience to search for so you type in BU you find BU sales hit OK add the experience now uh, when you water the plants you don't always have to give it permission um, to attach the water uh, to your avatar now once you pass 75 don't water your plants anymore because uh, it'll tell you that you're wasting water um, but yeah, that's that. Um, what did I just harvest? I don't even know. That's the black tea. Did I harvest black tea? Does it tell you? It, I don't think it tells you exactly what you harvest. Uh, yeah, you just harvested three crops from this plant, so it doesn't tell you. Oh shit, I don't even remember. <clears throat> I'll know once, uh... I'll know once I uh, watch it. I'll be like, oh yeah, that's right. Gosh, I got a lot of work to do here. Um, but yeah, that's how you harvest your plants. Now let me show you how to pull them out. And nobody showed me this, and I had to figure this out myself. And it's actually simple, but if you're new to BU, you know, it's kind of like a process. And you have to kind of know step A, B, and C. <clears throat> So uh, here's the scale that I talked about in my earlier video. Um, you're going to go ahead and sit on that, click it, and pull up your harvest from the menu. Oh, that's seeds. Harvest number seven. Okay, now it gives you a list of all the harvests that you have. Uh, taken from your crops and uh, let's see which ones do I want um, let's do the black tea so I can show you some a little trick so after you pick that uh, I always like to show assets to see how many black tea I have so I know how many to package it'll tell you in open chat I have 27 so um, I'm gonna go ahead and package five for the sake of the video now when you package these, they go, they get delivered to your inventory at that point. So now this is in my inventory. So at this point I can sell it, I can cut it, uh, cook with it if it's a culinary item. I guess for doctors, um, they use it for medicine. So let's walk on over to my herb table. These are not BU chickens, however, we are getting some and I can't wait because uh, we can sell the eggs and butcher the chickens. And I know that sounds cruel, right? But we put chicken on the BU, so I'll we'll get used to it. Here is my herb planter table. You can find this at the BU store. But before I do that, let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and res the black tea. That's what it looks like. Now you can sell it as is, okay? 
just check your uh, local farmers market for competitive pricing you could set it for sale for whatever you want okay but I'm not going to do that uh, I'm going to go ahead and store it in my assets um, by clicking on it and clicking store <clears throat> yeah I'm sorry about this apron situation but I think it is beautiful she has about eight to nine different floral or not necessarily floral but patterns um, I'm sure they look so lovely on the correct bodies I'm even tempted to pull out my hourglass or my Matera, my, my uh, Laura, and uh, I feel like messing with all that BOM and all that. So, anyhow, okay, so I just loaded that to my assets. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the table and click fresh herbs. There's also processed herbs, but I'm interested in making a fresh herb. Okay, so here is the black tea. I'm gonna pick that, and again, I'm gonna show assets. I should only have five, uh, but it says, no, I have nine. Okay, but I like to do these one at a time, because I sell them in ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and package one. Now, instead of it being black tea, it is black, I mean black tea harvest, it's now black tea, which is a little bit different. And you could also sell this, which is the cut version of the tea plant. And uh, these sell for a little bit more, and they have different attributes. Uh, I believe you can click the plant itself, and it raises your stats, so they sell pretty good. And nobody taught me this. You know, I used to just sell the bag of black tea and be done with it, but these sell for so much more, and you make so much more profit that, um, you know, that's a better option for me and nobody showed me that I just kind of had to learn that myself um, but yeah there's that and here is where I actually grow them so you grow your seeds you harvest your seeds you pull them out with the scale you store them in your assets and then you come over to your table you can cut them and that's for herbs only for produce you just take the produce out uh, package it the way you want it packaged and then um, you can sell the packaged uh, produce not take you to the farmers market that I sell my produce at kind of give you an idea of what it looks like when it's res but moving forward um, here's the wells and a pro tip uh, that I was told by a uh, vet player is you're gonna need one well for every three plots and that will keep up your water supply that's why I have so many wells. Um, I have some trees back here that need chopping. Uh, and again, um, these are all empty because they need to be updated. Some of them automatically update and you just it just drops one into your inventory. And then sometimes I get an error and have to send them my plot. So I have to work on that today. But here are some of the trees. You can sit on the tree and chop them and it produces wood for you. Uh, I will do a wood cutting and chopping video later on. I just want to kind of keep this as uh, general as possible to the topic of farming. Um, here is the... Uh, why does she not want to sit in there? She did that at BU too. Uh, this is the berry uh, crushing that you can't use until 15, but I wanted to quickly show you the animations. I think it's so cute extracts juice into this um, bottle here that you can use to make paint. Isn't that adorable? Okay. Um, I haven't made the paint yet because I haven't finished crushing the berries, but when I do, I'll let you guys know about that. Um, and then over here we have the power and the water tower where you can store water and generate power and store that in your assets which you need to power your b-bell phone and this is my phone uh, so this phone dies and when it dies you got to put it on the charger the charger requires you to have energy which you can buy uh, at your local markets for 
Linden's, I don't know how much, because I haven't bought it in a long time. Or you could generate your own power to charge your phone. And I believe some of the uh, mechanical equipment, the crafting equipment, requires power as well. Uh, these are some stat boosting furniture pieces you can buy at BU. I believe you can sit on it or click it here. Here, I just clicked the uh, garden lantern right here. And it uh, gives you an option to get stats. And um, they're all used up. So I'll have to go to the store and buy uh, maybe some oil or something to... Um, uh, you know to refill it, but it does give you stats uh, Remember I told you you have to balance your stats as well as where your BU HUD in order to level up so um, That's quite useful when you're out here gardening um, I have a couch uh, shower And a toilet so if my hygiene or my energy gets low I have somewhere to go um, This is my workhorse all day so, yeah, I do use it all um, to help me farm because there's a lot of work to be done here and it's better for us both to do it as opposed to me sitting here and watering all of these um, plots. I have three screens, so it's kind of easy for me to open up another. I have a really powerful computer, too. So it's really easy for me to uh, navigate to clients and do this. Um, but I have to balance her stats too. So, you know, you have to take that into account. There's a price to pay for that. And uh, what I do is interact with her HUD while I'm farming. So that way I can get my social up at the same time. And you can interact with the HUD by just clicking on it. You don't have to be all up on somebody either. You could be across on the other side of the farm as long as you can click on that HUD on this uh, little doll. You'll get a pop-up menu to interact uh, romantically or as a friend, and she's a friend. Uh, Smack Head gives you the most social. It gives you five every time it's accepted, so... It's a little cruel, but it, hey, it picks up your social quick, and I'm not trying to click on that HUD all the time. So when I do that, she gets a menu to accept or decline. She's going to go ahead and accept it, and uh, the two uh, avatars are going to <laughs> interact. She just got slapped, and then uh, my social goes up five points every time I do it. Yeah, the other ones give you one or two points, so I always do the slap to get it over with. I think that's it. If I left anything out, um, you can IM me in world about uh, anything be you except for law and medical. I do know how to get well if you're sick, but uh, I don't know anything about the doctor or lawyer. But anyway, yeah, I smoke, so, you know. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Thank you for joining uh, my channel. Uh, like and subscribe. I will be bringing out a lot more content about you and Second Life. I've been around quite a while. I'm not an expert at anything, but I know a little bit about a lot, and I can share that with you in your videos or in the world. So just hit me up. I'm pretty friendly and helpful. Um, if I don't respond, I'm probably not in front of my computer. And I usually will, I'm good about putting on my auto responder, but sometimes I do forget. So um, don't take it personal. I'm probably just doing something, you know, uh, that requires my attention elsewhere. And I will get back with you. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Skyler Gregory, 